want to see something cool, an iPhone from the future that folds. Here's the thing, the iPhone has been a slab of glass since, well, since the original one came out back in 2007. But Apple is working on some game-changing designs, two of them to be more precise. The first one is basically the iPhone Fold, but unlike the traditional foldables which use a thin and flexible display, Apple's variant is set to use two regular displays that are then linked together with magnets when the phone is unfolded. And then the second option that Apple is looking into is this one right here, the iPhone Flip, and this right here is what I believe most people would be super excited for. So here's everything we know about Apple's upcoming iPhone Flip and why I think this will be so successful. Okay, so the first thing that tells us that this iPhone Flip is something that Apple is genuinely interested in is of course, their patents. Back in November 2016, Apple Insider spotted a new patent filed by Apple to the US Patent and Trademark Office that showed a foldable iPhone that folded in half. Very reminiscent of the clamshell smartphones that we had back in the day. The patent describes how the upper part of the phone would contain the cameras, display controller, light sensors and speaker, while the bottom portion would contain the SoC, the haptic engine, and the battery. But something really cool that this patent also shows is the ability to fold the phone backwards and in that case get these two squared off displays on each side. Not only that, but from Apple's patent at least, it seems like the phone would close almost flat, with just this very small air gap in between the two sides uh, as compared to the larger air gap that we have on foldable phones today. They also show variants that have two hinges, which would allow it to fold into this triple stack. Obviously, it looks super thick from these patterns, but it might not actually be that thick in the final version, as apparently this pattern also makes a reference to clips that would allow you to attach this phone to your clothing when folded. And, um, you know, if it's too thick, then it will look really, really off, so it still has to be thin for you to be able to do that and also look good. So this is all some really cool stuff, but again, this was a patent from November 2016, almost five years ago. Apple might have changed or even canceled this project entirely, so the real question is, do we have anything new on this iPhone Flip? And the answer is yes, we do. Back in 2020, Apple was granted patents for the iPhone Fold, you know, the one with the two slidable glass panels, on which we've already done a video right here, so make sure to give this one a watch if you want to learn more about Apple's big foldable iPhone. Also in 2020, Apple filed this patent, which clearly shows a different device from that dual screen iPhone Fold, a device that resembles Apple's original patents from 2016, on the iPhone Flip. This pattern actually refers to a new hard-coded layer that would automatically heal tiny cracks in a foldable display and prevent major cracks from happening. Long story short, this is a foldable display that can heal itself. This pattern also shows the iPhone folding both ways, again matching the patterns that we've seen back in 2016. So from the looks of it, Apple has patterns for two very different folding iPhones. The bigger one that resembles Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold, but uses regular displays rather than, you know, a big folding one in order to make it more durable and remove the crease, while the second one uh, is smaller and it resembles Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip, which would indeed use a foldable display. But okay, aside from the patterns, do we have anything else on these foldable iPhones? Any actual leaks or reports from reputable sources? And yes, we do. Mark Gurman reported back in January 2021 that Apple has started early work on their foldable iPhones. He made a reference to one of them having a 6.7 inch display when unfolded, which seems to be the iPhone flip that we've seen all of those patents on. In the iPhone Fold video, I mentioned that Apple has ordered a large number of foldable display samples from Samsung back in September 2020. That was according to Ice Universe. And I didn't realize it in that video, but now I realize that that report was never referring to the big iPhone Fold, but rather the iPhone Flip, as only the iPhone Flip would be using an actual foldable display. Now, most of you watching this video probably have an iPhone. And I think it's quite fair to say that most of you also have a case for your iPhone. Therefore, if you're looking for a truly special case for your iPhone, you need to check out Vanwerk, our sponsor for this video. You might remember their super rare Apple Watch straps, which they handcrafted out of the interior leather of super rare cars, such as the 1973 Mercedes-Benz 
450 SL. They only made 75 pieces of this strap, by the way. And now Banverg has started making iPhone cases too. These ones right here are from an upcoming collection, which you can actually customize yourself with logos or initials. But the most important thing here is that they were also made in Italy by hand and they also support MagSafe. Not only that, but Banwerk also have MagSafe wallets now, which have been handcrafted in Germany using durable Napa leather from Italy. Check out Banwerk's premium straps, cases, and wallets using the link below. Another report from Economic Daily News at the end of 2020 claimed that not one, but two foldable iPhones have passed Apple's durability test. Not only that, but they said that one of the two would indeed be this clamshell iPhone flip for which Apple has indeed placed that big order of displays to Samsung before. LG is said to be helping Apple on foldable display development according to a February 2021 report by Digitimes. This likely refers to Apple having LG as a secondary supplier in addition to Samsung so that they can get more competitive pricing from Samsung. Since as we all know, Samsung has been overcharging Apple when it comes to OLED displays. This report also claims that this foldable iPhone, the iPhone Flip, won't launch until 2022 at the earliest. ming -Chi Kuo said back in March that Apple's big foldable iPhone, the iPhone Fold, won't be launching until 2023. So do you see how all these dots are now starting to connect? To put this entire picture in perspective, it seems like Apple's big player in foldable tech won't be the iPhone Fold, but the iPhone Flip instead. Which might seem a bit weird, but it actually all makes a lot of sense. You see, Apple's main competitor when it comes to foldable tech will be Samsung. Samsung is currently the leader and pretty much the only player in the game. I mean, sure, we do have Huawei as well, but number one, it is pretty much impossible to get your hands on their foldables, and number two, they don't have Google services, which makes them a no option for anyone outside of China. Also, Samsung has two foldable phones right now, the Galaxy Z Fold 2, which is their flagship, and this little guy, the Z Flip. There's no denying which one is the true foldable flagship, it is of course the Z Fold 2, as it morphs from a smartphone form to a tablet form, one that actually fits in your pocket. The Z Flip is just a regular smartphone that folds in half. It doesn't really give you the two separate devices that the Z Fold 2 gives you. But it does have two major advantages, the fact that it is fun and the fact that it is accessible. You can now buy a Galaxy Z Flip for just around 730 pounds brand new on Amazon, which is almost half of what it used to cost at launch. The Z Fold 2 retails for double that. Of course, that you can also go on eBay and find both used, but for a very good price, some for as low as 500 pounds. And even if you were to buy it brand new, the Galaxy Z Flip would still be cheaper than what an iPhone 12 costs. I mean, sure, the camera isn't as good, it is not water resistant or dust resistant, but it is fun to use. The fact that you can turn your phone into this tiny square that easily fits in your pocket, or even the side pocket of your jacket, is pretty magical to me. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the world has been going crazy over the Z Flip, especially the Asian market. The Z Fold 2 is also doing better than expected, but the Z Flip is really the king of foldables now, mostly due to its lower price point. My point here is that a lot more people can afford a Z Flip, and especially if you were into clamshell smartphones back in the day, then this is a great way to bring some of that nostalgia back without any of the downsides. Also, Apple's idea of folding the display both ways would remove the need for that tiny display that the Z Flip has on the outside, which, while cool to have, it is way too small for notifications, and the only real use case scenario is for the time and maybe as a viewfinder for when you're taking selfies, but even that is super tiny to be able to see anything really. So do let me know in the comments what do you guys think of this idea of Apple releasing an iPhone flip? Would you get one to add some fun factor back into the iPhone? Or would you prefer something like the iPhone Fold instead? Again, do make sure to watch our video on the iPhone Fold right here, as we did do our very own concept for that. We didn't do one for the iPhone Flip as we already had the Galaxy Z Flip to show you as an example. Personally, I am way more excited for the iPhone Fold as I do enjoy my Galaxy Z Fold 2 a lot and I do generally believe that foldables are indeed the future. I was quite skeptical at first before using one, but trust me, once you use a foldable, 
you would see the potential that it has. So I guess that now we just have to wait another year until Apple will enter the foldable smartphone market. A market that once Apple enters will start growing exponentially. But like I said, let me know in the comments what do you guys think and definitely give this a like if I've enjoyed it to let us know and definitely subscribe if you want to see more Leaks and episodes and more interesting tech videos like this one hopefully was. This has been Zenoff Tech, I'm Daniel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zenoff Tech, signing out. Cheers.